Hello, I'm Shadow Ash, bringing you entertainment from the shadows, and welcome to a very special countdown. There are a lot of people who love sharing their opinions by posting different kinds of countdowns on many topics and later becoming very popular. These people are called countdown artists. These guys make some of the best countdowns and have inspired so many others to do countdowns, including myself. But now comes the big question, who are my favorite countdown artists? Well, I'm about to answer that question right now. So I present to you my top 10 favorite countdown artists. I'll be talking about their different countdowns and other videos they do aside from that. If there's a countdown artist you like but is not on my list, then please don't be upset and remember this is in my own. Opinion. So without further ado, let's get this party started right now! Understood. Initiating the mission now. Because this countdown artist has no intro of his own, I'll play his collab intro instead. Starting off this list, we have one of the most underrated countdown artists in the community, We Dude A3. Out of all the countdown artists, he's the most ignored one. And to me, that's just sad. We Dude is known for his hilarious and wisecracking accent. Don't believe me? Well, listen to this. Now, I've said in my top 10 classes that this guy is kind of loco. And it really shows in his Meet the Video just how freaking nuts this guy is. Aside from that, We Dude has some of the most interesting countdowns, including his collabs with other artists, most notably his collabs with Green Scorpion, which is a big example of working together. Real superpower of teamwork. I had to do it. My favorite of his countdowns are top 10 Soul Calibur characters and top 10 worst Eggman bosses. And I agree on one entry on that one. So Eggman comes down to hit you with a spike. One single spike. Nothing else to attack you. And he comes right to Sonic's jumping level. Aside from countdowns, he's the creator of the brawl machinima called Fate's Hand, which I recommend you check out. He does online matches of fighting games like Skullgirls and he also does Let's Plays, though most of them are GameCube titles like Pokemon Coliseum. And these LPs is home to my favorite moment of his work. Intellipard! It deserves to die in the ninth level of hell. Note to self, don't trick Wee Dude with a bad bird. Wee Dude is a great countdown artist, and we all should look at him more often. So, to end off this segment, here's another Wee Dude moment. Thank you, Deli Bird! Die! Sorry, couldn't resist. I still think he's a great countdown artist, 
and he inspired so many others to become countdown artists like myself. He's low on the list because the others on here I like more. Alex's countdowns are very well informative, and the jokes he makes are just so funny. I hate him! I hate him! Fuck! Most of the countdowns he makes are mostly centered around video game music and boss battles. The fight itself takes place in a field of ice pillars, while Frozone, I mean Rundus, flies above you on ice rails. My favorite countdown by him is Top 15 Worst Pokemon, where I like to call him the Slayer of All Burmies. Seeing him slicing that useless bug is so satisfying. Also, his best countdowns comes from his collabs with Josh Scorcher, and they are just great. And it's all because of the... Real superpower of teamwork! <sighs> Something tells me this is not the last you get to hear that joke. Overall, the Autark is a great countdown artist, and a living legend to all countdown artists everywhere. And before we get to number 8, here's a famous voice from this guy. And drink beer! Seriously, it makes you go Super Saiyan! Up next, we have the King of Fruit Smashing, Idiot Noble 2, otherwise known as the Tree's Apprentice. Sometimes I wonder how he came up with that name. So, let's just call him Ben. Ben is another popular countdown artist like the Autark, and one of the funniest ones in the community. This guy makes me laugh every single time. Most of the countdowns he makes mostly focuses on games that are mostly for Nintendo consoles. Whether if it's franchises like Pokemon, Mario, or Metroid, or non-Nintendo franchises like the Professor Layton series. Also, like me, this guy is a big Pokemon fan, and some of his countdowns center around this series. My favorite countdowns by Ben are Top 15 Super Nintendo games, which is his best countdown, with the help of some friends. And his most controversial countdown, Top 15 or 10 Starter Pokemon, which I am happy that his favorite starter also happens to be my favorite Gen 5 and my favorite Water Starter. Yeah, that's right. My favorite starter Pokemon is Oshawott from Generation 5, and I am being dead serious. Also, when he's not making countdowns, he likes to make some filler videos to keep us entertained. Like smashing fruit with different objects. This has been me smashing a banana with a pogo stick. Overall, Ben is a funny countdown artist, and I can't wait for his next countdown. Whenever that is. But give him some time. Some of you may know this or not, but I love the Sonic series and the Naruto anime. And I'm sure the number 7 entry will agree with me. Next, we have the countdown artist with the most creative name, Noah the Hedgehog Ninja. This is one of the few countdown artists that no one knows or talks about, so now I get to talk about it. Noah is a countdown artist that loves to talk about different series and media, most people like, and some that others don't talk about. His taste in series is pretty much similar to my own. Here's some of them. Loves the Sonic series, 
Check. Loves Naruto? Check. Favorite Pokemon is Grovile? Check. Loves Yoshi? Check. My favorite countdowns by him are top 10 video game franchises and top 10 Mortal Kombat 9 fatalities. Because I love Mortal Kombat. The way that Reptile uses the acid hair is just perfect for him. He spits acid down his opponent's throat, then while they're choking, he decides to rip out his opponent's stomach. He also does reviews on movies and TV shows, and they're really good. Some of my favorite reviews are his reviews of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Movie and Ed, Ed and Eddie's Big Picture Show. Overall, The Hedgehog Ninja is an underrated countdown artist that you should check out if you're a big-time Sonic and Naruto fan. I highly recommend checking him out. Ta-ta! Well, here's another shocker. Baffle's minion is only number 6 on my list. Once again, don't get me wrong. Like the Autark, he's another iconic countdown artist that everyone likes. But the other 5 on this list I like a lot more. Logan is considered to be one of the best countdown artists, and I absolutely agree. He has so many countdowns, it's hard to choose a favorite. A lot of his countdowns leads to a lot of memorable moments. Here's some examples. It's fucking horrible! Nah! Little fuzzy wuzzy. Snap out of it! You're a man, damn it! Whoa, oh, fuck yeah! Do a barrel roll! Yes, sir, I'm rolling with it! Look at that! Am I sick yet? Am I sick yet? If I had to pick my favorite countdowns by him, it would be top 10 Sonic games where I completely agree on his opinion on Shadow the Hedgehog. Now, let me just say this. I do not, I repeat, do not hate this game. And his most popular countdown, Top 100 Favorite Pokemon, which was just absolutely fantastic, especially when he talks about Darkrai. I'm serious, he means an awful lot to me. Aside from countdowns, he is well known for being a talented sprite animator. Not that kind of sprite. If you like to see his sprite work, check out his DeviantArt page. For all, Bumble's Minion is a great countdown artist and another great inspiration for new countdown artists. And if any of you have a problem with him being number six, here's what Logan would say. You're going to have to feel with it. Yeah! I'll deliver your heads to Master Wiseman myself. <laughs> Oh yeah, now we're getting into my all-time faves now. At number 5, we have Maverick Hunter 075, aka the One-Winged Angel, the biggest idiot noble fan in the whole community. Maverick's countdowns are very well informative. That's because of the one thing he talks about, boss battles. Seriously. The majority of his countdowns mostly centers around different boss battles, and most of them are great. Some of my favorites are Top 10 Crash Bandicoot Bosses, Moscow, Moscow, I don't know the frickin' words, I don't know the frickin' words, ah, ha, 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 ha. Hey! and Top 15 Sonic Bosses. The fight against the Metal Overlords currently stands as my favorite final boss in the entire Sonic series, and it's not hard to see why.
Aside from bosses, he is also a Final Fantasy fan, and two examples are his deep hatred towards Shantoto from Final Fantasy XI. She's an annoying, egotistical mess of a character. And his love for the PSP game Dissidia Duodecim Final Fantasy. And I have to say this. This guy and his collab with Z Morshilago are the main reasons why I bought a PSP in the first place, and that's because the first game I got for that handheld was Dissidia Duodecim. Hey Maverick, if you're watching this, I want to say thank you so much for getting me into what is now my favorite fighting game of all time. Overall, Maverick is a great countdown artist, and because this segment was short, I want to do this. Hey Shantoto, I got some very important to say to you. You fail. Face it, you all knew I had to do that. Before I reveal number four, I want to thank the next entries for giving me the full courage to become a countdown artist. And this next one is a big example. Next on the list, we have another countdown artist that no one knows about, but now you do. Say hello to JP the Omni Slayer. Even though he only has a few countdowns, JP is a very underrated countdown artist. And like I mentioned before, that many people don't know much about, and he is one of the best I've ever seen. He mostly does top 15s or 20s, which gets him to talk about a lot of things instead of choosing 10. My favorite countdowns by JP are top 15 video game franchises and top 20's favorite video game characters. And the main reason why they're my favorites is because, like the Hedgehog Ninja, JP's taste in franchises and characters are very similar to my own. Two examples are... We are huge fans of Shadow the Hedgehog. He has awesome guns, awesome vehicles, and most of all, awesome chaos power. What more do you need to make an awesome character? And we are big time Pokemon fans. Seriously, we love Pokemon a lot. I can't help it. I just love Pokemon that much. As you can tell from his videos, he is a huge fan of the Ben 10 series. Which is a great series. Seriously, why do many people hate this awesome series? Overall, JP is a great countdown artist and a great friend as well. JP, thank you so much for inspiring me to become a countdown artist. And also to end this segment, I want to say something random and unrelated. I really want to play Persona 4 so Bad. Yeah, let's just move on, shall we? Here's one word to introduce this next countdown artist. Finland! Taking the number 3 spot, we have everyone's favorite Finnish countdown artist, Nif Finland. But because many people keep getting his name wrong, let's just call him Nick. 
This guy is one of the funniest countdown artists I've ever seen, and his countdowns prove that. Don't believe me? Here are some examples. And how did Spyro gone from this to this? Fear me. Oh god, run! What the fuck? What kind of a horsey shit is that all? Hey, look, a platypus. <laughs> And that's exactly what Jack and Dexter series is all about. Most of Nick's choices for his countdowns mostly have franchises that are PlayStation exclusives. Yeah, he is a big PlayStation fan, and he is also a huge Crash Bandicoot fan like me. One of Nick's biggest trademarks is that he likes adding cameos to his countdowns, which most of them are great. Whether if it's JP, Omega Snake, or even Bubbles Minion himself. My favorite countdowns by Nick are top 15 favorite video game characters and top 10 first bosses, which have some of his best moments. Some of my favorites are Ripperu, Engine, Crunch, Dingadoil, Fake Crash, Uka Uka, and Tiny. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to eat your face. Okay, not the new Tiny. That is so gay. But when he stops making TNTs, they blow up, and then he turns into more insane persona to make Nitro crates with his bare feet. Like a mouse. Let's face it, I had to make that joke on a boss countdown. Overall, Nick is funny and another great countdown artist. And another great friend to me too. And before I show off number two, I want to share something with you again. Yeah, I love being purple! <laughs> Gets me every time. Obsidian. Taking the number two spot, we have another great friend of mine, and the most funniest and amazing countdown artist, all the way from Argentina. We have Obsidious Fan. If there is one word to describe him and his countdowns, that would be epic. His countdowns are so funny, they make me laugh every time I watch them. He likes to talk about boss battles and franchises like Metal Gear, Pokemon, Crash Bandicoot, and the one series that made him so popular, Kingdom Hearts. In fact, most of his countdowns are also centered around Kingdom Hearts. At the end of the day, both Sephiroth battles have many similarities that they deserve to share this spot. Please, Fawn, I am a grown man. I am manly. Nothing can make me cry. Zion. <laughs> My favorite countdowns by him are most of his Kingdom Hearts countdowns and his top 10 video game characters, which the number one entry really surprised me. My favorite video game character is Axel slash Lee from Kingdom Hearts. Aside from countdowns, he also does video game reviews with my favorite being his first review of the game that's another iconic thing about him, Crash Twin Sanity. In fact, this countdown artist is the main reason why I bought Twin Sanity, and it was a great and funny game. Overall, Obsidious Fan is funny and an amazing countdown artist, and like JP and Nick, he's a great friend and I thank him for getting me into countdown making. So, who is my favorite countdown artist? Well, let's find out. Well, here it is. My favorite countdown artist is...
That's right, you're not seeing things. The Green Scorpion is my favorite countdown artist in the countdown community. His countdowns are just absolutely amazing. What I like about them is that he talks about various franchises. The topics he chooses are so creative, like top 10 video game assassins, and he is very informative. My favorite countdowns by this guy are his Weapons Month countdowns. There's so many countdowns about weapon wielders, it's hard to choose one from Weapons Month. If I had to choose, it would be Spear Wielders. Oh boy. Six lances. Six freaking lances! Or Axe Wielders. Look at the size of his axe! It's a freaking tree! Is he trying to compensate for something? Another one of my favorite countdowns by him is his collab with Wee Dude 83 The real superpower of- No! No! I am not repeating that joke for a third time. These collabs are outstanding, and like I mentioned before, they show how working together can lead to great things. Final verdict, the Green Scorpion is an informative, funny, and great teammate, and an outstanding countdown artist, earning himself the number one spot on my list. I'm Shadow Ash, bringing you entertainment from the shadows. See you all next time! I'm the Green Scorpion, and... Shadowlord, you flame burst! Scorpion wins. Flawless victory. Fatality.